everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brie, and we're back with Dominic and another snack crate box. This time we're going to Hong Kong. I'm really excited. I don't know if I've had like a Hong Kong snack before. No. So I'm really pumped. Everything in here looks really exciting. I want to try all of these at the same time. So I don't even know where to start. Actually, maybe these. So they came with these little marshmallow guys. So I've had these marshmallows. They look like a Japanese one I've had before and I love them. And then I looked it up and they are like derived from the Japanese marshmallows or like these. So I wanna try these first. Let's head to the little guide here. These are called Four Seas Dafuku. Dafuku? Dafuku. A fresh take on the traditional Japanese wagashi. This soft marshmallow snack has a creamy chocolate filling that spills Ooh. out with every bite. Ooh. Yeah, the ones I had, I think, were maybe strawberry flavored, but didn't have chocolate in them. So let's but they're soft. try this first. Yes. They're real soft. Ooh, smells like chocolate. It does smell like chocolate. What's that? Mmm. Where's the inside? I mean, chocolate it's smell. basically the makings of a s'more. Mm -hmm. Like, just put slap this between two graham crackers. That would be s'more. so good. I mean, it's chocolate and marshmallow. What, how can you go wrong? Nice. Not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Fun. Snackable. I love that. Mm. You want to do the chips? I'm staring at the chips. Let's do them. They just look so intriguing and intense. I don't like, even. Like water. Hell's potato chips. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. I, don't have, need I need to get some water. For that. All right. And we're back. And we're back. I have Arizona tea. Let's find these chips. Hell's potato chips. Beware, these super spicy potato chips are not for the faint hearted. This crispy snack will take your taste buds to the H-E double hockey sticks and back. Are you excited? You look excited. No. Let's do this. Here we go. It's a good looking chip. It's a good looking chip. Regular potato chip. It smells good. Okay. Good luck. Interesting flavor. I can't, I can't figure out what it is. A little spicy? Not even away. that spicy. It was like, oh, it, and yeah. it went away. It's like spicy ramen. Like it's just like, oh, it's spicy. And then that's it. Good though. I can't figure out what the flavor is. I think it's just chili. That's what it is. Like good chip. Uh huh. A little bit of spice, but if he's not sweating, then it's not spicy. Mm -hmm. Good chip. Good chip though. Yeah. It was yummy. Maybe those mixed week, berries. I was looking at it. Mm hmm. Okay, next we have these sweet. I feel like these are in a lot of. Now it's a little, little spicy. Gummies. I can feel it in the back of my throat. Black currant pastilles. Mixed berry flavor. They have such fun packaging. Look at the packaging. Mixed berry pastilles. These soft pastilles have a vibrant berry flavor that floods your mouth with fruity delight. Made with real black currant juice, this snack is not only tasty, but is also a great source of vitamin C. Love it. I don't know what a pastille is. I don't either. I'm assuming just whatever this is. Some sort of snack. Oh, it's like a prune. Oh, you can smell it right away. It is, it's like a, a soft, hmm. It's like a gummy, just a. Like a thick gummy. Thick. Hmm. This is really like a vitamin or something. Like a vitamin gummy. Vitamin C. I mean, it's good. It tastes like a, my multivitamins that I That's take what I'm saying. That's literally what it tastes like. Not even a bad <clears> one. <throat> just vitamins have been stepping up their game. Those are good though. It literally just tastes like a multivitamin. Wow, that's a lot of flavor. It does. It mixed in kind with the made, chili. I made yeah. my jaw like that thing. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. I could eat the whole thing. I could too. Sweet, very fun. Mm -hmm. hmm. What are we thinking? I feel like we're last. on a, a sweet thing right now. Sure. We either have strawberry wafers or these <clears throat> Malkus crackers. I feel like this will be a little Strawberry bit. wafers. Yeah. Here they are. Oh, Brady. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, forgot my job. Garden cream wafers. <laughs> Open the door to flavor heaven with these light and fragrant vanilla wafers and bite into the smooth strawberry cream filling for a truly blissful experience. So just and like regular wafers here, except I can't get the package. Oh, there it goes. I mean, Snap Crate's coffee person is very good with words. Unlike me, I'm not very good with anything. And then I'm like, taste sweet. <laughs> Tastes like strawberry. Crunchy. <laughs> Crunchy cracker. I'm trying really hard not to make a mess and not to break every single one of these. We're good. Oh. We're good. Clean table. Clean table. I know. It's fine. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Your standard wafer. I love wafers. I feel like when we dink this, it's literally just gonna make a mess everywhere, so. Yep. wafer I'm so good with words not as much flavor as I'd want it to have that ended up being a one biter for me oh I was like about to take a bite in half thought I got a little scared because I knew it was gonna make a mess everywhere so I was like well let me just bite the whole thing not as much flavor as I wanted it to have could have been better still good fluffy could have had a little bit mm -hmm. more flavor airy crispy but good Aha, uh -huh. let me do my job. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll do mine. Malt Kiss Cracker is a flaky, buttery malt cracker with a perfect snap. This unique treat features a sweet layer of brulee sugar on top, giving graham cracker a run for their money. Oh, oh. so it's like a graham cracker. Interesting. I feel like I've had this type where it's kind of glazy on top and like, like honey type flavor. Oh, I feel like that's gonna also gonna it's make this. It's not like honey. It might be honey. I feel like there's one that's like this that has like coconut on it, maybe? I mean, it literally looks like a graham cracker with honey on it, like caramel or something. Hmm. I mean, that's basically all it is. The back side is not covered, the front side is. It smells good. A sweet layer of brulee sugar. That's what it is. I was gonna say caramel, brulee, sugar, melted, and burnt. Brulee? Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Not as sweet as I was I expecting it, it really to be. Sweet. I was expecting it to be just like a graham cracker, but with caramel brulee on top, or just brulee. Just a very like, oh, what am I thinking of? This reminds me, I need to figure this out. It's like a saltine cracker with sugar. Yeah, it's like a unsalted, very thick saltine cracker. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know about that one. It's okay, it's okay, moving on. Another probably five out of ten. I think the wafers are a little, a little bit better. Hopefully the dry ramen can bring Ooh. us home. Let's look at him. Little... It looks like the hamburger helper dude on the back. Kinda does. <laughs> Multivitamins. Why does everything gotta have vitamins in it? Why are they so healthy? C, B6, B2, B1, A, and B12. In ramen? In ramen. Wow. Oh. Americans are not that healthy. Monster noodle snack. Crunch it, shake it, munch it. This noodle snack is meant to be eaten dry. Break it up and pour on the seas and pour on the seasoning packet for a completely new snacking experience. Okay, so should I? I mean, I used to eat ramen dry as a yeah, kid the, all the time. Ramen. Break Freaking, it yeah. right now, like this, yeah. Powdered soup. Why do they call it soup if you have to eat it dry? Right. It smells just like that. Just powdered soup. Do you want to try a little bit like this? Sure. Thank you. It already has flavor on it. Kind already of. has flavor on it, so that's pretty good. Mm. I like that. That's a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. You can see in there a little bit. That's what these look like. Alright. It's shaken. Not stirred. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Good piece. Well, it's like really soda. 
smells literally just like rum. Kind of. It smells like a farm. Oh, it does. Why does it smell like a farm? Is that oh, weird? Oh, it smells like a like, farm. Like, like the farm ground. Yeah. Isn't that weird? That's really weird. I was just gonna what? say that like just Girl. to you, but now I might leave this in. I feel like I'm at the petting zoo. Honestly, I think I liked it more without the seasoning packet. Yeah, I don't know what flavor that is. But it's not bad. Mm -mm. Kind of liked it like without the seasoning on it. Without the seasoning packet. It was so good. There was already some seasoning on it and it was good. Huh. Okay, we've made it through the box, which means it's now time to read everything in the box. Mm -hmm. Let's see, fun facts. Hong Kong has more Rolls Royces per person than any other city in the world. That surprises me. Huh. Didn't know that. In a global billionaire's list from 2020, Hong Kong ranked seventh. Almost 100 Hong Kong citizens are said to have a net worth of 1 billion US dollars or more. Wow. Apartment buildings in Hong Kong often do not have fourth floors. The word fourth sounds familiar to the word death in Chinese, so it is considered unlucky. Oh, so one, oh. two, three, five. <laughs> the bronze big Buddha on Lantau Island is the most significant Buddha statue in the world, towering over 34 meters high. Wow. Hong Kong has the most skyscrapers classified as buildings with more than 14 floors in the world, double that of its nearest rival, New York City. Wow. Wow. Is double the amount of skyscrapers in New York. That is very interesting. They have the scan for jams and we're back. Scan for jams. We're gonna, we're gonna do this again and not get in trouble for copyright. We're gonna play them for like half a second each. Hey, just called Hong Kong. You gotta click on this off first. slow jams. Yeah. They're also slow. They are very slow. Huh. Okay. Now I know. Yeah. Now I know. That was fun. Um, what was my favorite? I really like the gummies That's and what the I was gonna chips. Say. Were, ugh, I actually really like the marshmallows though. I think I like the gummies the most. Yeah, I would go between one of these two. It depends if I'm in like a chip mood or a sweet mood, but I really liked these are my top three. These and oh, the chips. And the chips. Yeah. I like the chips. I just was like, ex they made it seem like I was going to be on fire mm -hmm. and like he was going to not be able to continue this. Well, thank you guys so much for being here on my channel. Make sure to come back and see what our next snack crate is going to be. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a post. And I'll see y'all next Saturday. Bye.